Hey everyone, welcome back to What's Up with Duck Brand, episode number three. This is the show where I give you all the new updates on all things Duck Brand. I'm Karen Cavett, and today is all about the sparkle. That's why I broke out my uh, sequined shirt. I've got three brand new patterns of craft tape to show you, and I think they're all pretty glamorous. First up, from the Duck Prism line, we have this geometric sparkly rainbow tape. This one has so much color, so seriously, use this on anything and people are going to see you coming from a mile away. After that, from the Duck Glitter line, we have this rainbow gradient glitter tape for when you don't want to choose between using every single color and also being sparkly. And then finally, also from the Duck Glitter line, we have this mini roll of tape. It's so cute. It's a rainbow chevron glitter tape and this one is just so sparkly and so cute. So I really love the duck glitter line of tapes as you can tell from these other glitter tapes that I just already owned. But I know that it can be a little worrisome buying glitter anything because pretty often the glitter just falls off and then literally everything you own is covered in glitter. But you don't have to worry about that with these glitter craft tapes because no matter how hard I'm scratching the surface, literally none of the glitter comes off. I don't know how they do it. But now it's time for the crafting portion of our show. Today I used some of our new glitter tapes as well as some of the pastel tapes they showed you in one of the previous episodes, and I made these really cool geometric postcards. These are so easy to make. Just cut out a piece of cardstock to be 4 inches by 6 inches, draw a postcard template on one side, and then cover the other side with whatever modern geometric pattern you can think of. If you're actually planning to send it through the mail, make sure you press down the tape really hard so that the adhesive really sticks, and you can just use a spoon on top of a piece of scrap paper to do this. And then just go ahead and write your message on the back and give someone a treat by sending them some handwritten mail. So I hope you guys liked this DIY project. I had so much fun making all kinds of different patterns and designs, and let me know if you guys decide to make some too. So that's going to be it for me for today, but make sure that you press the thumbs up button as well as subscribe so that you don't miss next month's episode of What's Up with Duck Brand. I'll have even more tapes and news and craft projects, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Alright, bye everyone, and I hope you all have a fantastic week. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs>